thanks to our moderator and thanks to SRD for inviting me to address you in this validatory session. My speech will cover an overall experience and highlights of iCommerce 2020, details of sessions and the promotion of live memberships of SRD as well as co-chair opportunity in 2021 onwards. Also, we want to share the collaboration between SRD and Simulation as well as announcement to be made for the next SRD conference with COSMET 2021. It was in 2017 that I discovered SRD on the website. Being an adventurous person who always want to try something new, also attracted by the conference teams to promote multidisciplinary studies, I submitted my article and got accepted for presentation. The article was later published in the International Journal of Computer Applications. Unexpectedly, I received email from a professor of SRD inviting me to be one of the co-chair for SRD conference 2018 that was held in Bali, Indonesia. From October 2017 to August 2018, I took the challenge, fulfilled the requirement and completed all the missions successfully. Thanks for the support of my group friend, Mr. Lee and his team from UITM, ex -colleagues. Of course, not forgetting our CMU partners, Dr. Indajani, Mr. Wahid, Dr. Gato, Dr. Corina, and so on. I was rewarded with free life membership, fully funded return flights from Bali, free lodging, conference fee waiver, memento, and so on. Thanks for SRD for this opportunity. From here, I know SRD is one of the best NPO which provide equal opportunities for all members to grow at their own pace, supported by strong leadership of integrity, for example, never broke their promise, and professionalism, for example, ensure high quality publications, article with 15% or less similarity index. I'm honored to be live member, promoted this opportunity to all my friends. Second half of the year, I received invitation from professor again, this time, greater challenge given to me to be the local host and to publish corpus as required by many. Despite more challenges faced later, for example, COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, as we all know, the downgrading of previous corpus journal and so on, we managed to solve all problems on time. Yes, we are now at closing. Hardships are stepping stone for us to grow. Never fear, never retreat, nor give up. Be calm and steady. We just need to solve problems diligently and move forward. At this juncture, I can't stop thanking all of you who supported us. SRD President Professor Singh, Professor Rajendra, Dr. Ryohe, Gaurich, and all SRD teams. Also my, my dear MC, thank you very much for all the opportunities given to all of us. Also your willingness to bear some losses to keep promise to publish corpus. My Appreciation also go to Redsons management and staff, especially Dr. Sohaida, Dr. Mariam, Ms. Rashiha, Mr. Nizam for all the strong support to collaborate with SLD. All my diligent coaches, especially Professor Ong, Dr. Karina, Professor Dr. Awangku, Dr. Murugan, Dr. Ryohei, Dr. Indajani, Professor Lei, who strive hard to recruit presenters despite hardships faced during pandemic. Next, in the list of my appreciation to my all my supportive coaches especially professor peter thanks for timely checking of scopus journals also thank you professor lei professor leong professor lilia and dr gary tan our advisor in technical committee for various info on scopus or isi or abc index journals we are more confident to move forward to organize the subsequent conferences all our invited speakers, Dr. Suhaida, Dr. Isan, Dr. Amani, Dr. Suma, Dr. Maman, my PhD students, Dr. Karima and Dr. Chong, our keynote and speakers invited by SRD. Thanks for all your efforts to inspire us. I wish to apologize if I've made any mistake unintentionally throughout the event. Congrats to all of you, to all the existing and new SRD members, the registered presenters and authors. Together, we made strong team to move on. Let's give all of us a round of applause. Now, let's flip through what we have made in the history of intellectual discourse in this ICONMESH 2020 conference. On the first day, first session, we were given opportunity to do online tool checking 
on our webinar jam. Then it was followed by inaugural session that include the welcoming address by the SRD president, the keynote address, the invited talks, and the vote of thanks. Subsequently, we have the first session chaired by Dr. Ryohei Miedera with the team Computational Mathematics, Research and Education. There were three invited talks and also three paper presentations followed by the vote of thanks. It was very nice for the conference organizer to let us have a short break and we were requested to enter the webinar jam again using the new link. This was followed by session 2, chaired by Professor Dr. Awang Gu from University of Malaysia Sabah. The theme was Business, Economy and Tourism. Dr. Awang Gu started with the session overview and then followed by 8 paper presentations and a vote of thanks from the member of SRD. Session 3 was chaired by Dr. Karina Abdul Dalit from UTM. The theme was Computational Thinking, Digital Technology and Engineering Education. Dr. Corina also started with the session overview, followed by eight paper presentations and a vote of thanks by the member of SRD. The last session for day one is session four, chaired by Dr. Murugan Raju from Redson. The theme was Computational Thinking in Mathematics Education. Dr. Murugan also started with session overview, followed by five paper presenters. Then the closing of the day and instruction for day two, as well as vote of thanks by member of SRD. We have two long sessions on the second day of the conference. Session 5 was chaired by Professor Dr. Ong Eng Tae with the team Pedagogy and Teacher Education. He started with session overview and then two invited talks and 11 paper presentations with a finally vote of thanks by a member of SRD. Finally, session 6 was chaired by SRD Vice President Professor Rajinder Kumar with the team Multidisciplinary. He started with the session overview, followed by invited talks and 11 paper presentations. And then finally, the word of thanks. This invited speech entitled Enhancing STEM Literacy Considering Reading and Arts, the recent initiative of MOE Malaysia was delivered by Dr. Isan Ismail from MOE Malaysia. This talk will be shared as a colloquium openly after the conference. We will end the second day of the conference by validatory session started with the address by myself, announcement of Best Paper Award by the SRD President, participant feedback and vote of thanks by Professor Rajindra, Vice President of SRD. SRD would like to invite memberships and collaborations of researchers from all relevant disciplines including but not limited to science, social sciences, language, emerging technologies, fashion design and architecture, management, financial engineering, humanities, literary, culture and education. We welcome application of live membership with a membership fee of US dollar hundred and one-time payment in the society account in the following address. However, if you are appointed as conference co-chairs and if you recruited minimum five conference registrations, you will be rewarded with free life memberships worth 100 US, waiver of conference registration fee, and any other benefits that will be stated in the appointment letter. For your information, Society for Research Development and CMU Redsum had recently signed a memorandum of agreement for academic collaboration on the 25th of June 2020 for a period of five years. The MOA was signed by Professor Dr. R.C. Singh, SRG President, and Dr. Suhaida Tahir, the ex tender Director of CMU Redsum. The following is the print screen diagram of our first time ever online MOA signing ceremony at CMU Redsum. 4.30 p.m. Malaysian time. Guess what is the time in India? I think all of you know the top management of SRD and Simeo Redser. Then, who is the gentleman as moderator there? Well, he is our marketing manager, Mr. Maharuni Zam Baharun. All of you may be curious about the content of MOA, which is actually available on SRD website. The MOA will mainly be concerned for number one, Transdisciplinary education, especially in relations to science and mathematics, as well as in areas of mutual interest. Number two, we wish to collaborate and develop initiatives and training programs to meet the needs of both institutions, especially in science and mathematics education. Number three, 
we wish to set up a mechanism for research and development collaboration between both parties upon consultation and blended mode meeting. Number four, of course, we wish to organize joint conferences and workshops worldwide and publish papers in reputed high-impact journals. Following the success of ICONMERS 2020 as well as the successful signing of MOA, we would like to announce the next collaboration of SRD with COSMET 2021. That is our biannually held international conference on science and mathematics education. So what are possible dates in 2021? That is the concurrent event of 9 COSMET 2021 and ICONMERS 2021. Sorry, not confirmed yet but very likely to be held from 1st to 5th November 2021. Also aim to publish articles in Scopus Index Journal for those registered during early bird periods, most likely between April to July. To stand a chance for discounted rate, Scopus Index Journal publication in advance, Best Paper Award, Significant Paper Award and many more rewards. That's all for my presentation. Till we meet again at Redsum Penang next year, stay safe and stay healthy always. Thank you and happy working from home.